Hello, this is Jared Boone of ShareBrain Technologies. Uh, anyone who's spent any time around me knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with software-defined radio. And uh, to that end, I've been working on a software radio project. Um, the first one that uh, I have to show off, uh, I got, got it working technically back in November, but I haven't been so good about updating my blog. Uh, so I'm getting around to showing it off now. Um, here's the basic gist of it. Uh, I've got uh, analog devices ADRF 6850 board that I believe I posted on the blog last August. And then I have my baseband digitizer, which I mentioned back in November, but I hadn't yet assembled it and made it work. Uh, I have since done that, and uh, it works quite well. Um, so I'm about to give you a little bit of a demo of how it works. Uh, the first thing I do is, um, or the first thing I did was I created a little program to capture data coming out of the USB interface on the baseband digitizer so that uh, I could feed it into GNU Radio. I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing GNU Radio integration, especially because I wasn't sure if this was going to be a software-defined radio design that I was going to stick with, so I didn't want to sink a lot of time into it. So um, I have a program based on libftdi that writes a file to my hard drive at about 32 megabytes a second. That's about 8 million complex 16-bit samples per second, which is moving along. So here's my flow graph in GNU Radio. You can see, first of all, I'm taking the file that I capture from my radio and throttling it to uh, 8 mega, mega samples per second. And then I'm doing a, a frequency translation, which allows me to tune any of the channels uh, in the FM spectrum that I've captured. Then this is a fairly ordinary FM stereo demodulator that syncs into uh, my audio output on my computer. And I can tune around and listen to all of the different stations that I've captured. So, so this is a spectrum analysis of the FM radio spectrum that I captured. My radio was tuned to 101.9 megahertz. So this is the uh, 101.9 megahertz carrier right here. And then we go down 4 megahertz here and up 4 megahertz here. So that's uh, 101.9, 97.9, and 105.9. So right now I'm tuned to 101.9. You can hear that the radio that was on at the time I captured the file was uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers song. But if we tune around to negative uh, 0.8 megahertz, we'll hear a different station. Uh, this is a talk radio station. Um, if we tune up to uh, 800 megahertz or 800 kilohertz, we'll hear another radio station. So these are all radio stations that I can tune into and listen um, that are captured simultaneously into a file on my hard drive. So that's where I am right now. The software radio needs a lot of work in the analog domain. Um, I'm going to add a, a fourth order Butterworth filter to the front end of the baseband digitizer. And I have some VHDL worked up to do uh, 10 to 1 decimation of the sample data. So I'll go from 80 megahertz sample data down to 8 megahertz sample data. Uh, and at that point, I should have a very sensitive receiver, and I should be able to get much better FM signals than I was before, and I should be able to tune in all sorts of other signals that are a little bit more, uh, a little less powerful, shall we say. Uh, I'd like to target um, digital television, so maybe the next thing on my list will be to capture a ATSC signal, and GNU Radio has a built-in ATSC demodulator, so I'll be able to digitize and demodulate television from here in the U.S. So uh, look forward to uh, a couple of new blog posts sometime in the next few weeks where hopefully I'll have some cool new stuff to show that uh, won't be quite as trivial as just tuning in the FM radio band. See ya!